You know, for a second there, in all honesty, I didn't think this thing was going to arrive. Freight trains passing through this area have become an easy target for thieves who leave evidence of their raids all over the tracks. Hi guys, welcome to Hydro Collectibles where we let our geek flag fly. My name's Luke and I'm your host and today we're going to do an unboxing of something that I believe to be a very unique Marvel item. Something that is one of a kind and something that I personally am very proud to own. So as you guys may or may not know, the Lizard is my favourite Marvel character. I just love that dual nature of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So anyway, there I was searching through eBay looking for some Spider-Man comics featuring said character for an upcoming video. I changed my eBay search settings to ending soonest, hoping to snag a last minute bargain, when suddenly a listing caught my eye. An eBay seller by the name of Hunter Animation Gallery was auctioning off a set of storyboards for the 1994 animated Spider-Man series, and would you believe it, he had the complete storyboard set for episode 1 titled Night of the Lizard. New York City. If only everything down there was really as peaceful as it looks from up here. Now this wasn't just an episode of one of my favourite childhood TV shows, this was also the first appearance of my favourite character within this series. I read through the listing, which still had 4 hours left to run, and I checked out the seller. The seller was a collector turned dealer and had great feedback on the platform, however at present, due to the pandemic, was not shipping internationally. This was obviously going to be a problem, so I decided to reach out and ask a favour to a friend. And which friend could I reach out to? After all, I didn't know how much I was actually going to wind up paying for this item. All I knew was that it was going to be a very unique piece and probably go for a good few hundred, if not thousands. Then it hit me, there was one person over in the States that I could rely on for such a task. I reached out to my friend Mark, aka Frogboy, a gentleman I had met through Reggie Collects here on YouTube. Mark is an extremely talented artist who spends his free time recreating stunning comic book covers on canvas. Mark previously reached out to me during the start of my YouTube journey and offered me one of his paintings free of charge as an AOK, -okay, an act of kindness. This was of course an amazing gesture and I am so grateful for his kindness in sending me this awesome piece. I'll be sure to link the unboxing video of this AOK -okay from Mark in the description down below as well as a link to Mark's website should you wish to check out his other works or indeed get a commission for yourself, I highly recommend it. Anyway, Mark was someone who I could trust. After all, he had already gifted me an extremely expensive piece of original art, and so I requested that he be the one to take charge of this item should I win the auction. I returned to the auction just before it ended and found myself up against five other bidders. Luckily, my bid was successful, and I was now the proud owner of this incredible set of storyboards. Now, I will say that the seller was shocked that this item didn't go for more. However, bless him, he was true to his word, as well as the eBay agreement, and posted the item out without issue. This is something I believe to be a real testament to his character and because of this I want to encourage all of you to check out his eBay store and buy from him with the highest of recommendations I can give. Again I will link all this in the description below. So next up I wanted to find out whether or not this item was truly genuine. I had no reason to doubt the seller but in this day and age where the internet offers doors of opportunity I took the chance to contact the showrunner of the 1994 animated show John Semper and ask him about the item. John contacted me back within 24 hours and confirmed via email that the item I had won was indeed his original copy of the production used storyboards that he had auctioned off on his own site approximately a year ago. Yes! What a win! The storyboards arrived with Mark very quickly, but Christmas was only a week away and I was concerned that they might get lost within the Christmas backlog. So again I requested to Mark to hold them for me for a couple of weeks and boy was I glad I did. If you live in Los Angeles and your package hasn't been delivered, you might want to check the rail line in the east of the city. Freight trains passing through this area have become an easy target for thieves who leave evidence of their raids all over the tracks. Once Christmas was over, I made the arrangements with Mark to post the item out to me, and on the 4th of January, he'd done so. And this was the longest three to four weeks of my life. Tracking these items, I followed them all around the United States, all around the UK, until finally they made it to my door. And I tell you something guys, I couldn't be happier. Look at the size of this, every single page a unique storyboard piece. 
The pages come bound in this nicely formed folder and there is a nice signed photograph from John Semper alongside Stan Lee. Now it is a shame that this wasn't signed by Stan Lee also but hey it's a really nice touch for such a unique item. Looking at the title page we can of course see the Spider-Man logo and we can see the title for episode 1 Night of the Lizard. We can also see that this has the Marvel film stamp as well as the John Semper stamp of approval embossed here in the bottom right corner. John Semper has also signed this first page, proving once again that this was his original copy from back in the day. Moving up to the top right corner, I want to draw your attention to this date stamp right here. Now, looking online, I actually found another few copies scanned in of these items, and as you can see here from the pictures that I have found, there are multiple date stamps stamped across this page, indicating to me that this was the first draft copy, whereas the others being later within the production run. Now of course I would love to go through and show you guys every single page and maybe I will do so in a later video but for now I just want to show you guys a couple of highlights that I have spotted just flicking through the pages. As a fan of the lizard I am absolutely in awe by these drawings and absolutely love that I hold this piece of Marvel history. So there you have it, a very unique item that I for one am really proud to be the owner of. I cannot believe that I was able to find this thing, I can't believe that I was able to win this thing, and I can't believe that after all that I saw on the news regarding the postal system, that it actually arrived safe and sound. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to the seller, Hunter Animation Gallery, as well as Mark, aka Frogboy, for all their help in getting these items to me. If trust is something that you guys are concerned about when making high-end purchases, I want to put it forward right here, right now, and tell you that these two gentlemen are the top tier level of trust. After all, without them, I would not be sat here holding this awesome piece. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really goes a long way to helping the channel grow. And if you haven't already subscribed, I'd like to encourage you to do so. If you wanna see my reaction upon opening my AOK -okay from Mark, AKA Frogboy, check out this video up here. And until next time, I'll see you in another life. Take care.